Hey friends, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, hello, welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about organizing underneath the kitchen sink. It can tend to be a little messy under there and we're gonna talk about my total process for measuring, getting solutions, and making sure it is chaos-free and neat and tidy underneath your kitchen sink. Ready? Let's go. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that my under the kitchen sink solution has been pretty consistent over a few years and I found a system that works really well in at least three different homes because I think I've used the same exact setup in three different apartments. So I'll show you how to get started when you're doing this under sink organization process. The first thing you definitely want to do is measure. Now you're not only going to want to measure the width and depth of your entire cabinet, but you're gonna to wanna to account for obstructions. There is a knob, uh, like a, the water shut off knob or something like that, along with some piping and tubing that's gonna interfere with any kind of organization solution you wanna install. So you wanna measure for those, and you also wanna measure underneath the garbage disposal. I like to give myself a little less uh, you know, I like to be very conservative, so it's it says like it's like 10 and a half inches, but I'm gonna say I can install anything under 10 inches in that space. When I'm considering organizing solutions, I want to put my biggest organizing solutions in the biggest opening I can find. So this side has way too many obstructions for me to really install anything. There's piping and tubing and there is an outlet back there. I just don't wanna to have to pull anything in front of it. So I'm gonna use this side for installing my alpha drawer unit. And again, I'm measuring exactly how much space I have from the edge of the cabinet to the garbage disposal. And it looks like a little over a foot up to uh, 13 inches, but I'm going to be conservative and give myself the option to install anything that is under a foot wide. And uh, I measured under, by that knob as well, but it just wasn't enough. So I'm going to take this measurement in front of the knob and only go up until the back knob. So I have 18 inches of depth and 12 inches of width. The next thing you want to do, of course, is clean up your cabinet. Under kitchen cabinets tend to be a little bit grody because there is a lot of moisture under there. Sometimes pipes can leak and stuff can get a little bit gross. So give it a good wipe down before you do any organizing or install any organizing solution. The next thing you wanna do always under the kitchen sink and under any bathroom sink is align it with some sort of liner. I always recommend plasto mat. This is my favorite because it has one ribbed side and one smooth side. I get asked a lot which side you should put down and my answer is it really is up to you. Sometimes I put the ribbed side down because I imagine if water gets underneath there, it can dry a little easier, but it's really up to you. And then the next thing you wanna do is declutter any unnecessary specialty cleaners. We get a lot of marketing from brands and companies who just wanna convince us that we need all of these specialty cleaners for certain situations, when most of the time, you can get most of your cleaning done with an all-purpose cleaner, some rubbing alcohol, vinegar, baking soda, and things like that. If you don't want to be a total minimalist, and I am not a minimalist, you can definitely have a few extra cleaners. I have a few specialty cleaners, but the ones that I'm not going to be using in the kitchen, I'm going to move to another location, such as this Method Antibacterial Cleaner. I only use this in the bathroom, so we're going to take that to a bathroom cabinet and store it in there, along with this Everyday Upholstery Cleaner. I don't use that under the kitchen sink most of the time. So we're gonna move that to another location where it can be happier. And here are the things that made the cut for under the sink. They are the dream team. And today we're gonna to work with those. So the next thing I wanna talk about is solutions. Under the sink, another a good solution I recommend is a Lazy Susan or sometimes referred to as a turntable. It basically, I mean, it's a turntable. So that way nothing is ever, ever, ever in the back 
and the back is where things go to disappear. <laughs> Myself, I chose this Alpha drawer unit. I have had this for a long time. You all have seen this on my channel for at least five years. I love it. It backs up right onto that water shut off knob. I think I'm gonna move this and show you exactly how close I can get. It's not touching it, but it's pretty darn close and it sits snugly between the garbage disposal and the edge, but I still have a little bit of clearance for something I wanna store there. So inside the drawer there, I'm gonna put some enzyme cleaner. This is really great for getting greasy stains out of things. I'm gonna use my scented vinegar. I bought this once from Laundress. It's very expensive. I just refilled it with regular vinegar and put some essential oil in there and boom, scented vinegar. <laughs> I have my all-purpose cleaning concentrate from the Laundress. I've had it for a long time. It saves so much money. I've got my glass cooktop polish because I have a glass cooktop right now. And the next thing I use is rubbing alcohol. This is what I have to make my own disinfectant with, I think, one part rubbing alcohol and three parts water. Here is that solution so that I can pretty much get an antibacterial effect uh, if I need to do that in my kitchen. The next thing is my all-purpose surface cleaner. This works really great for most jobs and when it's empty, I just refill it. The next thing is my Barkeeper's Friend. I love this stuff. If you have really tough stains on pots and pans, it is my number one hero. A little less harsh is the Bonhomme. That's great for sinks and tub and tile. And again, I have baking soda, you know, just for, well, mostly for odor control. <laughs> and these, this is the number one dream team in my kitchen. I can get every bit of cleaning I need to do done with some of this stuff. The next drawer I have is just for tools. This is extra sponges, the cooktop brush, the cleaning brushes. I have a bunch of cleaning brushes from OXO for different things, a couple of magic erasers, and the uh, plug for the drain. That's very important. <laughs> so those are the cleaning tools in my Alpha drawer unit. Next, I had a little bit of space on the top. I'm not gonna let any space go unused. And I have some space on the side as well where I can actually stick and store something. So I have a bottle drying or, yes, that's a bottle drying rack. I don't really use this a lot of the time. So I'm going to stick it towards the back of the solution. So I, you know, it's, it's not an often used item, but I have it and it's very useful. Another thing I'm gonna use is, or put or store is my collapsible bucket. Here it is, uncollapsed and it is a pretty good size bucket. So if you wanna store a bucket, but you don't have a lot of space, this is a great option, just sits right on top there. Super easy for me to grab. The next thing I'm going to store is my dish drying rack. That is a cloth and it just sits right beside the drawer unit. How handy is that? Next, I'm gonna find a place for my heavyweight scrub gloves. These are great for cleaning the sink without any sponges. You just put the gloves on and clean with those. They're super satisfying. I'm also gonna put my extra Swedish disc dish cloths <laughs> in with the rest of my cleaners. These are great because they take the place of paper towels. So we do use less paper towels when we use the Swedish dish, dish cloths. <laughs> the next thing I wanna do is put a bin in the cabinet. Bins are great because you can move a lot of things at once and plastic bins are great underneath the kitchen sink, so if there's any kind of leakage, uh, your pretty, you know, water hyacinth bin doesn't get ruined or moldy or anything. So I put that right beside my drawer unit. And then next was a pretty gross thing, but it is the fat trapper. A lot of you ask about this. Some people just put their solid, I guess, meat fat or fat that they cook with or that happens when they cook in a jar. I happen to have this meat trapper thing. When it's filled up, you can put it in the trash can and it's biodegradable, kind of a safe way to dispose of used cooking oil that you're not gonna use again. I, I just don't do that. And lastly, but not least, is my dish pods. This is an old food storage container that I stopped using as a food storage container, but I recycled as a dish pod container, and I just put a little fancy custom label on it with my Cricut, and I love it. It's very cute. And next thing you wanna do is use the sides 
of the cabinet door to store extra things. And these are command hooks. So they can be taken off of the wall just by pulling the tab down. Be very careful. If you don't feel confident, you can use a hairdryer, uh, but they are damage free when you know, when they work properly, which is most of the time. So I use hooks to store my microfiber dusting, dusting cloth and as well as some other specialty cleaners and I my dust broom and pan <laughs> and also my dish drying gloves. I'm um, dish drying gloves? I keep saying that, dish washing gloves. Now these are water stop gloves from Casabella and I just store them with binder clips. And I was thoughtful enough to use the same color binder clips, but you know, you can use any color you want and that way you can just hang them up on the inside of the cabinet. If you feel like you don't want to hang up wet dish drying glo dish washing gloves in your cabinet immediately, you can let them dry and then hang them afterward. So here is my under sink storage solution. I love it. I just, I've been taking this from apartment to apartment for years and it works great every time. I just simply like open a couple boxes when I move and just shove it all in, it's great. Let me know if you enjoyed the video and it inspired you and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.